Rita, I won't be having dinner with you tonight. Wait, what? Why? Did you get invited to a drinking party with the guys or something? No, it's nothing like that. My mom said I could go over to her place for dinner tonight. She said she's gonna make all my favorite foods. I can hardly say no. I'm gonna go. But I already made a bunch of stuff. You told me you wanted bee stew last night. I've had it simmering in the pot all day. I went out and bought so many fresh ingredients for this. Sorry, but it's bee stew. I'll still be able to eat it tomorrow, right? Just wrap mine up and leave it in the fridge. I'll eat it, I promise. By the sounds of it, Mom already prepared a bunch of stuff for me too. A real banquet. It'd be a waste not to go. I'll be home later today after stopping by at her place for a bit. Hasn't this kind of thing been happening a little too often lately? Not only that, but it's so sudden. I wish you'd think of me more sometimes. Oliver, you wouldn't think I was your wife. Are you saying I should refuse my mom's invitation? Not at all. I don't want you to have to do that, but... You could at least ask her to give you a little more time of a heads up so it wouldn't mess up our plans. Surely that's not asking a lot. Okay, I'll tell her when I see her today. Happy now? Really though, it's not like my mom invites me over for dinner out of malice. Why do you have to get so grumpy all the time? You make me feel like I'm walking on eggshells. I don't think I'm grumpy at all. Hey, you wouldn't have happened to tell her I was making you beef stew today, would you? Hmm, let me think. Actually, I might have mentioned it in passing when she called me last night. Beast stew for dinner tomorrow! I knew it! Knew what? That's why she invited you over for dinner today. Huh? What are you talking about? Because she knew I was making you beef stew. I think she might have intentionally invited you over for dinner because she knew I was making you beef stew. No way, that's just crazy talk. You're so overthinking this. <laughs> but she did know, didn't she? That I was going to be making your favorite food? Don't you think it's a little strange that she'd go out of her way to invite you over despite knowing full well I was cooking for you? Don't you think it's far more likely she just forgot? Why would she remember every minute detail of our conversations down to what I'm having for dinner tomorrow? She can barely remember what time her favorite TV shows are on these days. I think you're being a little extreme here, Rita. The only reason I'm saying it is because it makes perfect sense. If it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, you know. No way. Could it be? Rita, do you view my mom as a rival? What? Are you worried she's gonna take me away from you or something? <laughs> Are you saying I'm being extreme? That's the biggest load of nonsense I've heard. I want your mom to like me. Why would I think of her like that? I just think it's weird how this kind of thing keeps happening all the time. I could chalk once or twice down to coincidence, but it's like it's every week these days. You can't live your life looking for malice and ill will and meaningless coincidences, Rita. Can't you try being a little more carefree? It'll be better for us all that way. But just like last time, she knew full well I was making beef stew again today. She's always been so hard on me. Never seems that way to me. She's always so bright and cheerful whenever I see her. That's only when you're looking. With me, she's different. Come on, babe. Surely you realize it's all in your head. Please, try letting go of whatever this is. Try taking some deep breaths and looking at things more logically. You'll worry yourself into an early grave with this kind of attitude. I'll eat the beef stew tomorrow, okay? That'll make you happy, won't it? Fine, but you really had better eat it tomorrow. I made it for you because I wanted to make you happy, you know. I know, babe, I'm sorry. I'll let my mom know there's no way I could go over tomorrow. I'm gonna head back to work now. Okay, honey. I hope it's going well at the office.
Oliver, I just had a phone call from your mom. She told me about her birthday. Yeah, I heard. She told you she wants you to help out with some things, right? Yes. That woman's just full of wild ideas. I can't believe what she came up with. I mean, renting out an entire restaurant for her 60th? Can you believe it? No one but my mom would do that. Not only that, but the thing she's seeing to all the preparations herself and treating us to a party on her own birthday. Um, I'll be helping her through. Oh, come on. What's the problem? If anything, it just goes to show how highly she thinks of you. You must be really trusted. Besides, you're the youngest of our whole family. It'll be genuine help to have you around. Why not use this as an opportunity to get to know each other a little better? You'll finally see how great she is. I just know it. Oliver, do you seriously not remember anything I said to you? Huh? What are you talking about? I told you, your mom hates me. Yeah, about that. I've been thinking, and I decided it makes no sense. You're making such a huge misunderstanding. You have to be. I told you this before, but you're overthinking things. Honestly, it's worrying me now. It seems more like paranoia. Okay, if I'm paranoid, why is it that every time we go to her place for dinner, she serves me up old, rotten food? Um, it's probably by accident. She can be forgetful sometimes. Or, um, rather, are you sure you're not just imagining it? I'm not imagining anything. Anyone could see how off the colors are. Not only that, but she always heats up everyone else's side dishes. Mine are always the only ones that are cold. Come on, babe. Surely she just puts yours out first. No, it's intentional. I know it is. Fine, what about the holiday? You all went on a family holiday straight after we got married, and I was the only one who wasn't invited. If I'm paranoid, why was that? Oh, that? My mom was just probably being tactful. She probably thought you'd be uncomfortable going on holiday with a bunch of strangers you'd never met. She did it for you, Rita, I'm sure of it. I mean, it's not impossible, but... If that's the case, why did she ask me to get all the weeds out of her garden, water the plants, and feed the cats while you guys were away on holiday? Not only that, but she asked me to clean the house too. I think she just wanted to help you get familiar with the place. It'd be awkward for you if you felt like a guest every time you went over, right? Because she's so thoughtful, she realized that and tried to do something to make you feel more comfortable. My mom is the best! Can't you see how hard she works to make you feel welcome as a member of the family? I gotta admit, babe, it's kind of confusing me that you're interpreting her kindness as... What? Ill will? Harassment? Jeez. Why won't you believe a word I say? It's not that I don't believe you. We just disagree. Listening to the way you speak about my mom, it's like you're dead set on her being this sinister cartoon villain plotting to make your life difficult at every opportunity. And you're dead set on me being some kind of paranoid neurotic lunatic in the grips of a crazy misunderstanding. Fine. Where's the proof my mom is harassing you? How do you even prove something like that? She only ever says things to me when we're alone. You message each other too, right? Surely if she hates you that much, there must be something suggesting as much in her messages. Is there anything at all? No, we only message each other for essential communications. What a surprise. It's just like I thought. There's nothing, is there? Not a shred of evidence. <laughs> yep, you're making a misunderstanding. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have forgotten my 500-page dossier on what a horrible bully she is. Get real, Oliver. It's unreasonable of you to just demand proof like that. Please, will you try and remember everything she's done so far and rethink this? I already thought about it. Rethunk it and rethunk it again. I'm looking at the situation through an objective lens and reaching my conclusion based on facts and logic. How about you rethink it yourself? 
How do you think you constantly bad-mouthing my mom makes me feel? I wish you'd be a little kinder to her. She gave birth to me, you know. She raised me. I've had enough. Fine. What does that mean? Why do you have to lose your temper? Can we just discuss this like adults? I'm not even mad. I've decided I'm just gonna go along with whatever you say. Arguing my case is pointless because you just interrupt everything in favor of your precious mother, who can obviously do nothing wrong. We'll see if you change your tune after I gather some evidence. My god, are you being real right now? Why do you have to make this into such a big deal? Because you won't listen to a word I say. Do you think I don't want me and your mom to get along? I'd love for us to be on good terms. I really would. But sometimes things just aren't possible. I don't expect you to be best pals, but I would at least like it if you didn't make hurtful accusation against her. I know my mom, and I know she's not the kind of person to bully her own daughter-in-law. Well, you don't listen to a word I say either. I feel like I'm talking to a brick wall. I hope you're not going to be in this foul mood when I get home tonight. Rita, are you okay? I heard you broke something. I'm okay. Ugh, I mean, no, I'm not okay. It looks like I'm gonna be in the hospital for a little while. Oh my god! Seriously? Yes, I have an operation tomorrow, and they said I'd have to stay for two weeks to recover after that. I see. I can't believe it. I wouldn't have seen this company in a million years. I heard you fell off the stepladder while helping mom with the preparations for her birthday party. What? That's what mom told me. Is that not what happened? Oh yeah. She's beside herself with worry about you. She told me to pass on her best wishes. She's broken up with guilt. She blames herself because you hurt yourself helping her out. She keeps saying how you would have never been there if not for her. She says she's going to come see you in the hospital real soon. No thanks. I'd rather she didn't. Pass that on to her for me and make sure she understands. Don't say things like that! You were having a great time together today while getting ready for the party, weren't you? That's what she said. She said she felt like she was laughing and joking with her own daughter. I thought this would be just what the two of you needed. Is that so? Interesting. Hey, Oliver. You're going to come and see me in the hospital when you get off work, aren't you? There's something I want to show you. Huh? I can't make it today. Why not? Why not? Surely you understand why I can't go. It's my mom's birthday. I can't visit you today. Just get through this one day for me, okay, babe? I'll be right over tomorrow. I have a broken leg. You're in the hospital. What difference does it make if I'm there? They'll see to it you're properly fed and look after. You do have your purse with your credit cards in, right? That's not the point. Aren't you even a little bit worried about me? It's my mom's birthday. She only gets one per year, you know. I'd feel horrible if I canceled on my aged mother at the last minute. What kind of son would that make me? Can you imagine what my mom's friends would think if her own son didn't show up to her birthday? She has her reputation to think about too. I told you I can't make it today. Please don't make me say it again. Will you just understand? Oh, I see. So even with me lying in a hospital bed, you still prioritize your mom. I know where I stand now. I hope you're ready for what's coming. Ready for what's coming? You're scaring me. All I'm doing is going to my mom's birthday party. Why you gotta be so dramatic? You were involved in the preparations for this, remember? It'd be a shame if all that hard work went to waste. Surely you want this party to be a hit. Maybe your mom's birthday is important, but is it more important than your wife lying in a hospital bed with a broken leg? It's not like I'm asking you to come live in the hospital with me. I just wanted to see you. Even if just for a little while, that's all I wanted. 
Like I said, babe, I'll be there tomorrow as soon as I can. I'm super busy with work today, and the boss wants me in for overtime, so I won't even be able to sneak away for a little while. I'll be in touch after Mom's party tomorrow, okay? <coughs> Rita! Divorce? Is this a joke? What's going on? I just found some signed divorce papers in the mailbox! Ah, uh, they finally arrived then. Sign them, please. Make sure you talk to a lawyer as soon as possible. You're gonna have all sorts of legal proceedings to think about. Then there's the alimony, so you're probably gonna want to hire a professional for this. Forget the money! I don't care about that! How about we talk about the divorce itself first? Why are you doing this? Am I somehow supposed to understand what's going on when a set of signed divorce papers randomly shows up in my mailbox? Did I do something wrong? Did I hurt you somehow? Wow, do you seriously still not get it? No way. Is it because I went to my mom's birthday party the day you broke your leg? Oh, so you do understand. No, but... Oh my god. You divorced me over that? Is that all our marriage is worth to you? Please, you have to rethink this. <sighs> That's just the tip of the iceberg. This is for everything you've done to me. Every time I tried speaking to you about the way your mom had been bullying and harassing me ever since we got married, you just dismissed me like I was some paranoid lunatic making a misunderstanding. You even made me doubt myself and my own mind. You made me feel worthless. This again? Really? You admitted yourself you had no proof. I never saw her do anything bad to you, not even once. No bullying, no harassment, nothing. Basically, you won't believe anything your own wife says unless I prove it. Ugh, no! I don't mean it like that. But that's not what you said. Did you look at what was on the USB stick I put in the envelope with the divorce papers? No, I was so shocked when I saw the papers, I didn't even register it. Look at it now! Jeez, okay, okay! I'll look at the USB. Please, let's just talk about this properly afterwards, okay? I love you, Rita. I really do love you. I want you to know that. If you really love me, you'd hear me out instead of treating me like I was crazy. But I did hear you out. I really tried to get to the bottom of what was going on. I asked my mom, you know, whether she was bullying you. She said she had no idea what you were talking about. That's why I thought you must be making a misunderstanding. Oh, you're quite happy to believe whatever your mom tells you then. And please, is there a single person on this planet who, when asked a question like that, would reply with, yes, guilty? I'm bullying my daughter-in-law? Where did you go? You wouldn't happen to be watching the video now, would you? Yes. What the heck is this? Did my mom really... Yes, your mom really. She kicked the stepladder out from under me while I was putting up party decorations at the restaurant. Your mother broke my leg. Oh my god. This can't be... Why? 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 Because she hates me. She's been bullying me ever since we got married, but you wouldn't believe a word I said until now. Well, the proof you wanted is right there on the USB. Are you satisfied now? I knew there was a good chance she'd be trying to pull something at the party, so I set up a hidden camera in the restaurant while I was putting up decorations. So, believe me now? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. You think this goes away with an apology? Too little, too late. My mom's been behaving disgracefully. I accept it. I finally accept it, please. But surely what's been going on with my mom and our divorce are two separate things. It might look that way to you, but you made me feel like I was cracking up because of her. You wouldn't believe a word I said. All while swallowing whatever pack of lies she fed you hook, line, and sinker. You choosing to go to her birthday party instead of visiting me in a hospital with a broken leg was just the straw that broke the camel's back. 
I can't even spend my life with someone like you. To tell you the truth, I don't even know if I could bring myself to be in the same room as you. Wait, please! Let's just talk this through! I didn't know, I swear! I didn't choose my mom over you! It's just that she had me fooled! But that's not true, is it? You just didn't want to accept the possibility that what I was saying could have been true. So you buried your head in the sand like a coward. I told you countless times. I begged and pleaded with you to stop and actually consider what I was saying. Your cowardice put me in the hospital bed. I'm so sorry. I made a huge mistake. If you sincerely mean that, then prove it by signing the divorce papers and make it quick. No, please. Anything but that. I can't bear the thought of losing you. It's over, Oliver. Please reconsider. My mom must have had her reasons for doing what she did. There has to be some kind of explanation. There just has to be. I'll mediate between you this time, and I won't let her lie about anything. Let's get to the bottom of this together. Wow, you're unreal. Even now you jump to her defense like an obedient little lapdog. Was kicking the step ladder out from under me okay if she had her reasons? Was breaking my leg okay if she had her reasons? No, no, no! I didn't mean it like that! Oh, that's funny, because that's exactly what it sounded like. Oh yeah, I handed a copy of the recording over to the police and I'm filing charges. What? The police?! An officer will probably be contacting her soon. No, wait! Don't do it! You may not be on the best terms, but she's still your family! And this is crossing the line! Let's just talk this out over a coffee together and reach a resolution that works for everyone! The divorce, too! Let's just slow everything down here, okay? This blind defense of your mother at every turn is exactly why I can't be with you anymore. Do you even have a mind of your own? You didn't seriously hear me out even once about how was she treating me since we got married. Instead, you tried making me think I was the problem, that I was crazy or paranoid or imagining things. Even now, while we discuss the end of our relationship, as I lie here in the hospital bed, you still jump to her defense with the same level of blind, unthinking obedience as before. This is why we're getting a divorce. Fine! I'll cut her out of my life! We'll never speak again! Please, just rethink the divorce! Stop repeating yourself, you're boring me now. Your mom isn't the one who hurt me the most. We could have stayed together happily even with her bullying me. All you had to do was defend me and have my back when I needed you. But you didn't, did you? You didn't even try. The divorce proceedings were finalized about two months later. Oliver continued to stubbornly insist he didn't want to divorce, but I said that if he'd agreed to go through with it, I was willing to settle with his mom over the stepladder incident out of court. With that, she started piling the pressure onto him, and he, being as spineless as ever, reluctantly agreed to do it. Reluctantly agreed to it. By that point, I'd fully accept that he was completely incapable of disobeying his mother, so I didn't regret the divorce one bit. However, it seems like this whole episode actually made him start doubting whether she really was the kind, loving woman he had her built up as in his mind. Because to my surprise, apparently, he started ignoring her messages and calls after the divorce went through. Obviously, she wasn't going to take such insolence and disrespect lying down. I mean, can you believe it? Her own son having the nerve to think for himself for once? Her revenge campaign began with surprise visits to his house, followed by his office where security had to intervene, and generally causing him as many problems as she possibly could. As a result, Oliver's relationship with his mom deteriorated even further. Not that it's my problem, in a sense I think he was a victim in all of this too. But that doesn't mean I have to continue having anything to do with him. Between the alimony from the divorce and the compensation his mom agreed to pay out of court, I received a tidy sum of money. I intend to put to use in starting my new life, which I'm currently planning out while waiting for my leg to heal. I'm hoping to find a new job before the end of the year. Most importantly, I also plan on mending my broken heart. 
Having to put together proof of my mother-in-law's misdeeds like that really took its toll on me emotionally. But when I think about how it resulted in me getting that wicked witch out of my life once and for all, I feel like maybe everything turned out in the best way possible. From here on out, I plan on spending as much time as possible with my family, friends and loved ones. All while having zero tolerance for toxic people, being kind to myself and enjoying life to the fullest. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel 